And you could say whatever you want about Israel. We're not going to agree on it, right? Sure. Israel did not invite this war. No, I, I don't think so either. Right, but, but just... they have to retaliate, and war is the worst thing humans do. Here's my prayer, sure. that Israel doesn't overreact. Americans don't send troops, and that this is short, and that the terrorists that did this are held to justice. That's what we need to publicly say. But I, I, I am not. And What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we're back again with a new video. Today, we're going to check it out. Charlie, kick tears into anti-Israel students, okay? Let's give this a try. I have a disagreement about the whole Palestine-Israel thing. I promise not to take up as much time as the last person no who was up here. But um, I'd like to open with a, maybe like a little statement, which is that, you know, I'm not too partial to either particular side of the political spectrum. Um, but I think that a sad reality is, is when we talk about the Palestine issue, uh, it's the Gaza Strip is 50 percent people under the age of 15. Um, it's about 2 million people and about 5 to 25 square miles. And the reality of it is, is that Israel has said they're going to make a complete siege of the area. They've cut off electricity. They've cut off water. Um, and that's kind of a sad reality. And the reality is they also can't leave. There's only two ports of entry and exit. And so as much as you or others might be pro-Israel, how do we not condemn the Israelis for taking away resources like water from a population that's the majority children? Um, and, and at what point do we say that it's kind of an open genocide, right? Like when, well, when Israel, on. well, I mean, I, I know, I know it's easy to see. You, you realize on Saturday they killed 900 I, Jews, I'm not, right? I'm, I, mean, I, understand, I, I understand. One side's doing the genocide, the other side is retaliating. Well, one, well, one yeah. side's definitely swinging up and one side's swinging down. And I think that when you're a, when you're a strip of land in which all of your water, airways, and, and, and electricity is controlled by a state, uh, which you can't leave, and it gets bombed by missiles. I don't really think it's quite equivocal. I mean, obviously, everyone here can condemn the killing of civilians, and that's not a debate that I'm I'm going to have with anybody, left or right. Sure. But um, but at what point or time, you know, you say you criticize Republicans, but uh, why don't we ever like criticize Israel for uh, for what they're doing by turning off water? I mean, how? Well, well, what, I'm not going to criticize again. Well, let me just ask a hypothetical: if, if Cuba came to Miami and killed 50,000 Americans, would should we cut off their water? Answer the question. No, if, absolutely not. Okay, I disagree. You you think we should cut off water to a to if people? if the Cuban government came and killed fifty thousand Americans, sure. which is the population equivalent, right? Sure. So nine hundred Jews would be fifty thousand Americans. Yeah, yeah. I would completely Cut's support up, war against a country that kills fifty thousand Americans. Cuba is the same, but similar distance, right? So yes, I would restrict. I would restrict food, water. It would yeah. be all-out war against a country that touched our homeland. True. Well, you know what they call all-out war against a, a populace of people that are stuck in an area? It's, it's a genocide, right? And so as much as I No, agree hold on a second. No, 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 no. First of all, if that was the case, why is Israel telling civilians to leave a certain area, number one? Well, if, only that if, are allowed to hold leave, on a second. right? Wait, hold on. I'm sorry. What? Like, are Palestinians allowed to leave the Gaza Strip? Well, they're moving to a different location of the Gaza Strip before bombardments happen. That's number one. Number two, they're already talking about humanitarian corridors being built. Did you know that? They're yeah. talking about humanitarian corridors sure. being built with Egypt. So there's already a plan from both the Mediterranean side and the south side. But honestly, I'm not going to overly specify this because war is a really brutal, nasty thing. True. And you could say whatever you want about Israel. We're not going to agree on it, right? Sure. Israel did not invite this war. No, I, I don't think so either. Right, but, but just... they have to retaliate, and war is the worst thing humans do. Here's my prayer, sure. that Israel doesn't overreact. Americans don't send troops, and that this is short, and that the terrorists that did this are held to justice. That's what we need to publicly say. But I, I, I am not. And you're, you're right. There are kids that are going to die. That pains me. It should, the heaviness should be on you. But the answer is you just kind of roll over and allow people to come into your country, into kibbutzes, into concerts, and mowing down people and say, you know, get, catch you next time? I, I'm just not entirely sure what water has to do with the conflict, Mr. Kirk. I, I just don't see how the Israelis, it's the Palestinians, war. the PLO, and, and Hamas honestly, can use water. Two things. Here, here's, the, here's the issue. The Palestinian Authority is too busy spending $300 million a year incentivizing the slaying of Jews instead of actually going and purchasing water filtration services, you know, all, all sorts of different things there. Number two, so they build their headquarters under hospitals. It's a fact. Uh -huh. They use the entire population of women and children in Gaza as a massive 2.5 million person human shield. That's sick. Uh -huh. There are no good solutions here. There's not one that I'm going to say this is wonderful and beautiful and glamorous, and this is excellent. It's all crummy. It's all hell. And they invited hell. And something that we like to gloss over as Westerners is we get to live in a very peaceful society, relatively, 
And we don't realize that sometimes you need a Dresden. And that's a really hard thing to swallow. But guess what? What we did in World War II to defeat the Nazis was 100% morally defensible. And there were people that also died. Israel has a right to defend themselves, and they're going to retaliate. And Hamas, they brought this upon themselves. They were the stewards of those women and children. Hmm. And as stewards of those women and children, they said, we don't care about the women and children enough that we're going to go into the other. They knew what was. You're trying to tell me that they're shocked that they're getting bombarded and their water's cut off and their electricity is cut? No, they invited it. Final thought. Sure. I, I, I wouldn't necessarily say they, but I, I do understand the sentiment, right? Okay. I, I do sure. agree that Hamas brings it upon themselves. But I think we can agree. Here's what I will say. I do not think U.S. troops outside of very specific special forces to rescue Americans, which I'm sure you might be able to agree with, should be involved in this conflict. Yeah. We, can, we cannot allow ourselves to get into another Middle Eastern quagmire that Lindsey Graham and Nikki Haley and Mike Pence might try to get us into. That is something we can agree with, okay? Listen to that video was actually interesting to watch. Uh, I came to understand with Charlie Kick uh, when he said the cut of water, food, because of actually what happened. Because if you think about it, if you were in the same scenario, in the same shoe with Israel, you would do the same. Because Hamas came, killed a lot of Jewish people, a lot of Israel during the um, October 7th last year. That was a brutal war. A lot of Israeli died, a lot of Israel died, daddy. Children, mothers, fathers, they were all killed and slaughtered. And if you think about it, they were angry they were pained they were feeling loss of they were they have that loss in them that a lot of the families were dead so them cutting off water and food was actually a way of showing back that anger that pain back to um i know actually affected palestine but it was a way of showing that anger back to hamas so you want to try to blame them in some certain way you can't like think about it you know that okay there was some sentiments right there um the students right here, I love that he actually agreed to Charlie Cake at the end. Uh, it's, it's painful what is actually happening to people who are in Palestine. The death that is happening right there is painful. But what, what I watch in the news, whenever Israel wants to do an airstrike, they give warning to a specific area and tell people who are in that area to evacuate before the strike, especially mother's children to evacuate before the strike. So if you think about it, you know that Israel... If they are to go full force with anger and with brutalness, they are going to kill a lot of Israel, a lot of Palestine, a lot of Palestine are going to be dead. This war would have be ended by now, because that Gaza is a little area that um, Palestine is in. So if you think about it, well, if Israel is to go full force with them, a lot of them are going to be dead by now. This war would have ended. But they are trying to root out Hamas, the terrorist organization who are residing there and causing more harm. They're trying to root them out and bring them to justice for what they did on October 7th. By doing that, they are creating Israel is killing some Palestine. It's war. It happens. And I feel bad for that. Truth be told, uh, I feel pity for children who died through that war, um, parents who are dead. I, I watch videos of Palestinian children who were born and some other um, hot food things in their body. I, I feel pity for them. I feel kind of like sad. It's terrible, but what is actually happening now? The only way Israel is, to, is going to bring out Palestine, um, the, way, the only way Israel is going to bring out Hamas out is by creating more tension in Gaza and throwing more missiles and cutting them off water and food. That is the only way Israel feel like is the best way to bring out Hamas out and bring them to justice. Truth be told, it's against war regulation to cut off water and food from people who are residing in that area is against war regulation i think i watched it too i think cnn that israel was going out of the war regulation that was extreme but it was out of pain um, and loss that made them do such things and that itself was actually bad i would say that that was extreme but if i was in israel i would do the same but we all know what loss and pain can cause someone to do so this entire video itself was actually beautiful um I love how Charlie explained to the students vividly. I feel like America should not put their hands, they should not send their troops in to fight Palestine because it will lead to more war. Um, I feel like America should take off their hands away from the war. They should, they should send their troops in to rescue Americans who are living in Gaza and send them back to their country. But they should not send their troops in to fight the war that is happening. That is extreme. 
because it will it lead to more chaos and more and more war. That is really, really extreme. But the entire video itself was beautiful to watch. I love how the um, anti-Israel students understand Charlie's point of view and show what and understand what is really happening in the war itself. This was actually amazing to watch. I kind of like at first I was kind of like angry with Israel why they cut off water and food because when I watched you, I was like that was a stream. But hearing Charlie disclose this information, I kind of like get his point of view. It was actually, it was out of pain and anger that made him. Um, comment such ads. This entire video was beautiful. Um, comment down below. Think about this video. Give us a thumbs up. Share this video to as many as you can. Subscribe to our channel. Give us a thumbs up, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. Bed. I got scales all